everybody, what's going on? Nathan343 here, and yes, we are reviewing the Canon Pixima TR7022. Colored printer and black and white. It's a little wet because, well, it's pouring down rain outside at the time of recording. So, we're going to take this stick knife, which is really good for cutting tape. Now, the reason why we're reviewing this, my other printer quit. Not so much quit, but ear lily. Pop off. I've had this for probably 10 to 12 years. 10? And I got this from somebody else, and they, uh, what do you call it? Um, now, it could be probably cleaned. It probably honestly just needs cleaned so that it can. Um, like it prints, but it doesn't print very well. It takes forever to print. Um, so if you're interested in a printer, I've got one. It just probably needs cleaned, and I don't feel like cleaning it. I wanted something that I didn't have to have paper back here that actually had a tray in it that I could put paper in and not have to worry about cats getting to it or playing with it or getting ripped. Yeah. So I've got all the cables with it. Um, there's the power supply in there. Um, yeah, and this one I don't think is going to be turned on. So, yeah, the old printer took a crap, and the new one is. Yeah. So, we got our. What do you call it? Instructional booklet. We have some more booklets. We got something in here. Okay, so we got the power cord, which is the exact same power cord as the one that that one takes. And we get 261 ink. Kind of ink. Yeah, that's the color, then you get 260 black. And it's almost the exact same as what I had. So, I don't know if my old ones would fit in here. Not, probably not. This is the starter. These are probably not completely full. I uh, will go on Amazon and probably get refillable ones. There are 50... It was $54 for a set of both of these, but we'll use what's in it. Be, get some styrofoam. I'm going to get the printer itself, which I'm going to put on the floor and take out and set up here. Actually, this piece is here. It says, open the unit cover or cover. Protect, protective material inside. This is where the ink goes. It opens up. I just want to take this tape off and that, and that keeps it from the head unit from moving. That's pretty cool. It's kind of got a little gas shock on it. This is for if you want to put like photo paper or something back here in the back. So if you don't want to do that, it sits there nicely. Then you have here, you've got two trays. Top tray is where the paper comes out. So it prints and then it comes out there. Bottom tray is your paper tray. So you're going to want to do that, open that up, and we're going to get some paper. Which I have some right here. Yep. Make sure that it is right up to the edge. So that's cool. Oh, she says I have to plug it in. Okay. Leave that light on because it makes it to where you guys can see better. This is like my computer plug in to me. Well, part of it. So it's got a little twist tie on here. Open this up. These are around a hundred dollars, like a hundred and seventeen, less than a hundred and twenty with tax. Alright, so I'm gonna get this plugged in.
All right, so now I got to You want to crawl underneath there and plug it in? You got to plug it in first. It's not plugged into the wall. Power on. And it says, it says take the lighting. All right, it's got to warm up. It's going to take a few minutes to go through a cycle on the video that I watched. So we'll speed this part up for you. cartridges they're gonna slide out C is for color B is for black so you want to push this little tab right here lift up you want to push this little tab and push up now my little helper is going to open the ink cartridges if she can let me get it sweetie She's a good little helper. Yep, you gotta remove that. Okay, I'll do one, you can do the other so you can see how it goes down. Face is the black. So black goes here. And you're gonna put the unit in just like so. So you wanna put it in. We can see these little here have to line up with those little dots back there that tell it how much ink to put out. So we're gonna put it in. And she's gonna put it Careful, it'll be tight on your fingers. It'll start putting ink on your finger. Put it in an angle. Yes. Gotta go at an angle, push back, and let it in. And you just snap those in place. All right. And then we just shut this. There we go. You should recognize that the ink has been installed. Cover has been closed. That's pretty cool. Apparently, there's an app on your phone you can get, and you can control this a lot more from an app. You also can print from your phone, too, so that's pretty cool. We'll have to get into more of that, too. All right. The following Juan Cannon ink cartridges have been installed. Okay. Okay. Start alignment to improve printing quality. Okay. Load two or more sheets of A4 paper, letter size. Okay. Now it's got this little light on here. That's really cool. So again, we're going to speed this up for you as it runs a test. We're going to open this because it's going to shoot out a piece of test paper. The light off here while it does its thing. Isn't Chloe doing such a good job? Let's give her a round of applause. Put that in the video. <laughs> Here's my instructional reader. See, you don't have to read instructions. And then there's this stuff, too. It's printing. She's scared of that. All right, so after about four, maybe four and a half minutes, the printer is now done with its two test copies. It did some different colors of gray and different colors of types of blue and did them in kind of different stacks. It kind of did sideways and slanted and 
as you can see from the first one you can see some lines in there and the second one it printed is nice and clean so it's ready to go so it says now whoops yep. So in all in all the printer here does a really great job uh, kind of been using it this is now probably about uh, oh, close to a week ago since we unboxed it and all that I'm just adding this in but I really like it it holds quite a bit of paper I mean there's probably a good hundred pages there or more I didn't get them all grabbed but it's really easy. I mean, the tray comes out easy. It prints really fast, really crisp. Um, just a blank piece of paper up there. I haven't ran the copy part of it yet to make copies or anything or kind of exactly quite figured out how to make copies. I think I have to do that. Like, I can do it here. And then push, like, start, maybe. And it'll copy, I'm guessing. I'll have to figure that out more and let you guys know second review there's roller heads in there uh, I believe that will suck paper in yes and all that good stuff so I will do some more looking into this like I said just wanted to get this first look out and let you know uh, I'm gonna be trying it out so I got some dirt on the side there but it's real light it's not heavy it is wireless um, and I actually took it into one of our other bedrooms and plugged it in and it wrecked the signal reach from my computer. So it's very, very simple. As you can see, I have it on a little table here. Uh, I'm actually going to be getting a little different table to move it uh, on the other side of my computer. But I think it's, uh, really like it. I really, really, really like it. I think it's, uh, very nice. And it's definitely worth your money. Like I said, a little over a hundred bucks. If you're looking for a wireless printer, uh, I've like I said, my old Canon one. I'm gonna take it somewhere and get it cleaned, or see if it can be fixed so where it prints better and doesn't skip, or if it needs any printing heads, if it's even worth spending the money on it. But uh, for a hundred bucks, go get one of these. Canon makes good cameras, and they definitely make good printers. So uh, I know there is an app, and in the next video, I'll be talking more about the app. I do have the app, I just haven't got it connected to it yet. I know there's a bunch of stuff you can do on the app, and I'm going to uh, dive in more to that on the next video.